Hello viewers, a very good afternoon and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. We continue to update you about what is happening in the nation Zimbabwe. Tim Avondel, uh, Honorable Senator Jameson Timba, together with the Avondel 78, they have been effectively denied bail by the High Court. We were waiting for the judgment from the High Court and the judgment is here with us. They have been denied bail and this is the matter which we need to take a look upon right now as we speak. We need to hear what they do open to say right here. He says, jailed former government minister and opposition leader Jameson Timber, along with 72 others, have been denied bail by the High Court of Zimbabwe after appealing a magistrate ruling that denied them bail following their arrest on June 16 when they met to celebrate and remember the South African 1976 students uprising. Justice Mnamatum Tevedzi, who was recently appointed to the High Court, denied them bail in what many senior lawyers have called bizarre ruling. You can read the full, okay, this is another information about where you can find the whole ruling, but let us go to the, to the most important part of, um, of, of this judgment. The most important part of this judgment is right here with us. This is what we want to take a look upon um, right here. So this is Zimbabwe for you. This is what Emerson Dambuzum Nangagwa is doing a sign of a man who is afraid of his own people so um, let me try to put it properly right here onto the screen for the sake of um, us to read and see so okay right i do not know what is happening right there the appeal against the refusal to admit appellants 1 uh, to 42 and 44 to 75 to bail by the magistrate's court sitting at Harare on 27 June 2024. B and is hereby dismissed in its entirety. This is it. This is what Justice Munamatom Tevedzi said. And um, this is the ruling. This is the judgment. At this point in time, the team Avondel, led by Honorable Jameson Timber, has been denied bail effectively and they remain behind bars. They remain. Um, enclosed in the cells without uh, their freedom at this point in time. So this is what is happening and uh, we'll continue to watch and see, we'll continue to be updating the people of Zimbabwe about whatever which is happening at this point in time in our politics. Our body politics is becoming more scary and um, you know, more difficult to navigate through. It's because of the kind of judges we now have. What kind of judges are these who deny people who are not armed, uh, people who are not flight risk bail. You know, the purpose of denying somebody bail must be this person, if number one, you interfere with witnesses, number two, um, you is a flight risk, you are not teaser, but these people, they don't have capabilities to, to, to run away. They will be right here in Zimbabwe. But the major issue is these people are afraid that the people will protest against the evil government led by Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa. This is their most uh, worst fear. And, uh, you know, when you are living in fear, you do some things which can't be understood by anybody. And uh, this is so wrong. But this is Emerson Mnangagwa. It's not the first time he's done it. We have seen Job Sikala spending nearly um, two years. He spent over a year behind bars. And um, we have seen so many people being persecuted through the courts. We have seen so, so many people. Uh, others, they even saved Vasina Moshe Vakapara, Vana uh, Last, and others. Vasina Moshe Vakapara, they saved a, a, a sentence in the prisons. This is Zimbabwe for you. So we are saying to the people of Zimbabwe, this is not going to break us. We we'll continue to fight. We we'll continue to forge ahead. Remember, one of our champions in Menezi was also jailed for effective 20 months, simply because this regime is terrified and is afraid of any person who will be mobilizing against them. So politics is not a crime, but in Zimbabwe, they have made politics a crime. So this is what is happening at this point in time. We will continue to watch and see, we will continue to speak as the citizens. And uh, I hope and believe that one day justice shall be served. I know that they have denied our people justice, but one day, even do a Mania, a time shall come when they will run away. If they ran away from Robert Mgabe, then 
what will stop them to run away from the citizens right here. Take a look on what is happening in Kenya. Kenya is the template of uh, everything. The people of Kenya, they are refusing and resisting dictatorship there. One day, the, if you continue to put Zimbabweans uh, uh, in a corner, one day you will run and you will find yourself in Chikurubi. That is the, the, the safest place you will find at a certain point in time. One day it will happen. And um, a lot of people think that we are bluffing. As the young generation, we are saying enough is enough. We are saying it's now time for change to happen in our lifetime. It's now change time for, for change to happen in our lifetime. And we will make sure that we bring that much needed change uh, in the nation of Zimbabwe. Without fear, without favor, we'll continue to fight, we'll continue to speak out. And, uh, you know, we know the consequences. These people, they made the arrest, they jail, but we continue to speak up until we realize our change in the nation Zimbabwe. Let us meet in other episodes as well as other broadcasts.